In today's video, I'm going to be talking about my current investment where I'm all in on cards used for yesterday's free Evo. So just for the video does start a quick little ad on a trading service I offer over on Twitch for the cheapest trading guides out there for just £4, four euro, all free with Amazon Prime. You'll receive daily trading and investing guides covering PlayStation, Xbox and PC with an array of methods covering all budgets. Now I've been trading for over 10 years, making over 100 million in multiple different FIFAs. And now for the last four years, I've made 10 million coins in just the first month. So the investment that I've decided to go and do is basically go and put in millions and millions and millions, probably about 3 million coins deep already, into special cards that we use for yesterday's Evo. You can see we've got loads of cards right here on our transfer list. We can see we've got pages and pages and pages and pages. And what I've decided to do is go and sell on the Messi and De Bruyne because the player SBCs leaked this week, I'm not convinced are as good as the ones we had last year. So, you know, I can literally already sell the De Bruyne, I've already sold the De Bruyne, sold the Messi's at a profit. And what I've done is I've decided to shift the coins into loads of these promo cards that are used in the free Evo. Now, why have I gone and put loads of money into these promo cards that are used in the free Evo? Well, the reason for that is it's a free Evo and everyone completes free Evo, especially because this one goes and gives you a five star week fit. Now, I'll be honest with you, I don't think the upgrade for this is overly amazing, but I don't care because people are blatantly doing this Evo because promo cards are up. And as I say, the, the cards we're investing in are the promo cards, and that's because they're not an infinite supply. In theory, these golds being used are in infinite supply, which means if loads of packs are open, then, you know, these cards are going to get packed. Whereas, you know, infinite amount of packs can go and get open right now, but no one is packing the promo cards that can be used. So as a result, what I'm doing is I'm investing in the promo cards that can be used. Now, I talked about this and talked about this example earlier in the uh, before Foot Birthday came out. And basically, this happened with Verts and a few other players, where on the day the EVO was released, Verts went from 17k to 23k. And it was 23k like all the evening of um, Friday and arguably quite a lot of Saturday. But when Sunday came around, he jumped from 23k to 56k. And then on the Sunday went to 77k. And then on the Monday went from 88k. And by the end of the week, it was 105k. And why did this happen? This kind of happened because people would eventually finish Week League. Obviously, people kind of prioritise Week League, get their stuff in from Week League. But once they're done with Week League, they move on to division rivals, they move on to tournaments, they move on to objectives and evos. Which is why there isn't the biggest jump between the Friday and the Saturday. But then there's the bigger, well... I guess there is a semi-big jump, but why there's a big jump on the Saturday to Sunday and then the Sunday to Monday is because that's when people are just completing weekend league. And then the reason there's a jump between the uh, Thursday and the Friday is that's people can, you know, the last day of the um, Evo, so people again are just panic buying it. And then you can see he crashes back down then because he's not being used for the Evo. So how have I decided what players I'm going to go and invest in? Well, how I first found all the players is I went to Evolutions, I then went to Weakfoot, and then I went to players. And what this did is this showed me every single player being used for the Evo. There's a few things I was looking out for here. One was actually transferred players, because if players are transferred, obviously the goal card isn't in packs. So it's kind of the same as a promo card. And that, and then on top of that, I was looking for promo cards that obviously aren't in packs. So for example, you've got Classy, he's not in packs. You've got Sal, he's not in packs. You've got Cahill, he's not in packs. And Hummels, he's not in packs. There's a few examples for me to go through right here. So Classy, we can see before the Evo came out, he was 13k. After the Evo he came out, he was 13k. No one gives a toss about Classy. No one's Evoing him. We can then see that Sal, before the Evo came out, Sal was about 55k extinct. After he came out, 55k extinct. He's extinct to 55k. There's no money on him. We then look at Cahill. Cahill, before the Evo came out, was 12k. After the Evo came out, he was 13k. It's okay, but not quite good enough for me. And then same with Hummels, we can see. Before the Evo came out, he was 47k. Now he's 55k. She might say, oh, let's go and buy him at 55k. They'll increase his price range. We'll all be rich. That would be great if the Evo maybe had 14 days on it or 20 days on it. But because it's only got six days on it, it's unlikely they'll increase a special card's price range before the Evo expires. So we're not looking for anyone who's either near the max price or at the max price because it's unlikely you get a price range increase. So let's go and have a look at some things from the second page. We've got Henderson, we've got Loftus-Cheek, we've got Charles de Ketelaire, uh, we've got Rick Apugi, and we've got Renier and Shooter. A few nice examples here. Uh, and a few of these I've actually invested in. We've got Henderson, let's have a look at Henderson. Henderson went from 14k and he's up at 18k. He's got a maximum price range of 30k, meaning again, maximum we can make is like 11, 12k per card. Do you know what? I quite like that as an investment. 
because again, he's inflated. Yes, we're buying the cards inflated, but you would have bought Vert's inflated. And he's still 4X'd after he was inflated. Now, again, these cards aren't going to 4X because the price range won't let you. We then head to Loftus Cheek. We can see Loftus Cheek before the uh, Evo is out went to 38k. He went all the way up there to 56k, so he must have been half demanded, but he has dropped down to 42k since. For me, this still shows, well, because he's about 42, 45, this shows that there was blatantly demand and the demand will pick up later in the week. Problem for him is he's only got a 60k price range, but I still wouldn't be complaining about a 12k profit after tanks per card, you know, in a one week. It's, it's not that bad. It's not amazing, but it's not that bad. We then get to Charles the Ketelier. Again, 40k. Did go up with the SP, with the Evo coming out, but he's kind of stayed at 40k. So, again, I'm not a massive fan of buying that. Not when I can go and get the likes of Loftus Cheek. We then get to Ricky Poogie. Now, Ricky Poogie is a slightly controversial one. You may ask, why is he a slightly controversial one? Well, it's slightly controversial because in the schedule of SBCs to come, we've got ourselves Maya Yoshida. They may wonder, who? Yeah, don't worry. Uh, Yoshida. Now, Yoshida plays for LA Galaxy. So the worry I have with Poogie is that how much of his rise yesterday was because we have a LA Galaxy SBC player who will be very hard to link up and obviously radioactive because like double the chemistry. So Ricky Poogie would basically be a really good link to uh, Yoshida. How much of the you know reason that Ricky Poogie is up is the Evo? How much is it Yoshida? So he's definitely a bit more risky, but if Yoshida is well demanded, that Poogie's going extinct. If Yoshida isn't well demanded, I guess worst case scenario, he goes and drops. I mean, I'm paying no more than 19k for him personally. Worst case scenario, he drops 5k. But I personally think it's quite unlikely. And I just think Ricky Poogie probably has a bit of demand uh, for the Evo nonetheless. So we start off right here with Poogies. Again, I've been buying them at 19. Uh, but I've actually stopped buying them because I don't want to end up with loads and then he crashes for Yoshida. Uh, you can see we've got a shoot in here. we got a Veron. Now, Veron is probably the cheapest player um, that, I that I've gone and picked up. Now, the reason we've gone and picked up Veron is before the Evo came out, he was 13k, and now he's up to about 14, 15k. So, again, he's only up 1 to 2k, so maybe not the best demand in the world. But, you know, I've still gone and picked up a few nonetheless. We've got Loftus Cheek right there at 45, we were talking about earlier. Gaia, Gaia fits under the Evo, uh, picking him up at 19. Let's just show you his trend over on Footbin. There we go, Gaia. Before the SBC was comfortably 16k, now he's been set at 19. 21k. So a lot of them I've actually had to be getting on bids because, um, yeah, the buy now deals just haven't been there. But there we go. Loads of Gallagher's as well. Gallagher's amazing. I'd be very surprised if Gallagher's not extinct to 30k because he's blatantly one of the most popular. I think he went from 14 to 22. And he's one of the only Prem special cards you can use in it. I mean, he's actually up at 24 at the moment. So, yeah, 14 to 24. Sadly, he's only got a 30k price range. I wouldn't gamble on the price range increasing. And that's about that. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you uh, an example of a few players selling on for lazy buyers. Before I do that, I might as well explain the concept to lazy buyers. Because people are doing this Evo, and because sometimes people can't be asked finding the cheapest on the market, they'll literally just go and search the market and buy one. Um, so what I do is I list up all these cards significantly more than what I bought them for, and significantly more than what they're going from the market. Because what I can do is I can say, do you know what, I'm in no hurry to sell these, because the sell time of these is going to be Thursday. What I do is I just list them up, and if someone's too lazy to go and buy the chips on the market and they want to go and buy mine, hey, I'm not going to stop them. So what I've done is I've got all these guys I've gone and picked up and I'm just listing them on lazy buyers right now. Because, again, there's no point having them sitting on my watch list doing nothing. I might as well have them listed. And what I'm going to show you right now is two players I've already sold with only listing, you know, these players about three, four times. And I'm literally making about 10k per card without doing anything other than just listing them for more than they're worth and people too lazy to buy them. Example of uh, just some of the players selling on. Gallagher at the moment on the market is probably only going for about 23k, but because the card is so in demand, I can literally just buy it, list it, and people are just going to buy it just to go and do the EVO. I mean, there you go. Let's go and show you right now. Gallagher, again, we have literally just gone and sold one for basically 30k. I could just go and replace him right now for 22k, but because he's so popular and so many people are buying him for the EVOs, He's just a perfect sort of card to go and sell on for lazy buyers. Here's another example of uh, one of the guys, again, we've gone and bought for, uh, to be used in this free Evo. Uberhoff, literally currently going on the market for about 20k, and we've managed to go and sell one for 29. So again, just showing these are brilliant cards to go and list up for lazy buyers. And uh, yeah, that's basically going to wrap this up. So you're going to go and buy the cards right now. Again, ideally, it's a bit of a hard one, because obviously it depends when you're watching this, depends how inflated they are. But I've given a few examples of what I've paid for cards, so obviously don't really want to go much above that. And the sell time of these is just going to be Thursday. I'd say you've got Thursday afternoon to Friday afternoon without having to worry about everyone panic selling them. But don't, don't leave it too close to Friday, 6pm, because yes, you can say, oh, people are going to go and buy it to do the SBC. But 
you know, you might get people panic. Say maybe someone goes and picks up like 50 Loftus Cheeks and then they try to sell them all within three hours, you're going to have a bit of a nightmare. So I'd say probably start looking Thursday afternoon, Thursday evening, give yourself a nice 12, 15 hours to go and sell the cards without you getting too on top of, you know, your own listings. That's about it. That's going to wrap it up. Thank you very much for watching and we'll go and see you guys tomorrow with a brand new investment.